Where do you think you're going? You're getting up. Oh, no, no, you're going to stay in here with me. <laughs> oh, yes, you are. Because I am not ready for you to leave my arms yet. No, it is never too late in the day for morning cuddles. Especially with me. No, shh. I won't hear another word about it. <laughs> Just a few more minutes. Besides, I just woke up. I at least want to enjoy the calming, cozy feeling that a morning brings. It's a very unique feeling, you know? And I can actually be awake when I have you in my arms. For the whole night, usually I'm asleep. But now I'm wide awake. <laughs> no, you are going nowhere. Except just being in my arms. <sighs> Did you at least sleep well? I know I'm a rather big hugger when I sleep. Sometimes I worry I might crush you by accident. Or at least smother you. Instinctually, you are my little horde, after all. So, I do worry. <laughs> well, I'm happy to hear you slept quite well. You look always so calm in the morning when you're between being all groggy and awake. It's always so endearing to see. <laughs> Plus, you're just so cute all cuddled up in these blankets as I wrapped you up in my arms. I suppose quite a bit of my tail, too. I suppose it keeps you warm, doesn't it? Especially sometimes your ice-cold feet. My tail has a mind of its own, and sometimes it is drawn to where it is cold. I'm not really sure why, but every so often... When I wake up in the middle of the night, your poor feet are so cold. So I wrap my tail around them to keep them warm. <laughs> I know sometimes when you've woken up, you know, to get up in the morning or maybe go to the bathroom, <laughs> you've almost tripped because my tail was wrapped around your legs. I apologize for that. But it is so cute. And funny. Well, not funny when you fall over, but... You know, it's truly amazing how far we've come. Never did I ever think in all my days that a human would want to be with me. Well, 
as you know, being with someone who is part dragon can come with its own challenges. I'm not what is considered the norm among humans, both physically and behaviorally. And I was always afraid it wouldn't mix well after a while. You know, after the few weeks and months of dating, you're in a honeymoon phase, just happy to be in the other person's company. And after a while, spending every waking moment together, which has been very nice, might I add. Sometimes you start to see little cracks, things that just don't match up. But I'm more than happy to see that it isn't happening between us. I am just as happy with you as I was the day I met you. And I hope you do feel the same. <laughs> no. Oh, I love you too. I love you too so very much, my little treasure. I know sometimes I call you my little treasure. Because you are just... <laughs> you are so cute and little to me. But honestly, in seeing how big your heart is, you are a big treasure. A big treasure which fills my heart. You are my precious hoard. My precious hoard which I'm allowed to smother in the morning. <laughs> I truly thought my clinginess might have scared you away. Specifically, my overprotectiveness. But I'm glad you just see it as something endearing. Something that I do because I just want to see you safe. And, well, I can't really be without you. <laughs> and you put up with my antics. When I try to pile you together with blankets or wrap myself around you, like I would with a real hoard, one of treasure and gems. <sighs> and also putting up with every now and again when I accidentally have a rather <laughs> harsh sneeze or cough. I remember once I almost burnt off your eyebrows. I felt so terrible. Oh, but you laughed it off. And the fact that I can wake up next to you and just pull you so close and never let you go. That is the greatest gift you could have given me. I love you. <laughs> this is so comfortable, I don't think I ever want to leave this bed. But... I do grow quite hungry in the morning. So what to have for breakfast? You know me, I love my meats. But perhaps something more light this morning? Something not so dense. Maybe we could have pancakes. It's been a while since we've had those. Very long time. What kind of pancakes? I feel like plain ones just don't really mark the occasion of today. Maybe we could... Hmm. Try to think what I have. I do have some different kinds of fruits in the fridge. 
blueberries, strawberries. You know I have chocolate in my house. <laughs> we can just mix and match. I've heard of people doing cinnamon pancakes. Mixing a little bit extra cinnamon and sugar. Kind of caramelizes on top with the sugar. Hmm. We can decide when the time comes. <laughs> oh, and what's one thing that you like about making breakfast with me? Oh, how clumsy I am. I don't think I'm rather clumsy. Okay, maybe a little. <laughs> what can I say? My tail has a mind of its own. Likes to bump into things every now and again. Particularly likes to bump into you. Oh, there's another thing. Well, what is it? The way I turn on the stove. I would have never thought you liked watching me blow a puff of fire onto the burner. <laughs> but now that I know you do, maybe I'll make a show of it. Well, hopefully not too big of a show. I don't want to burn down the house. <laughs> no, no. I say, oh no, because talking about pancakes has made me extremely hungry now. And as much as I want to just keep you here in this bed, I do have an urge to make breakfast. Mostly because I want to see, <laughs> I want to see the smell on your face when I blow some fire. I never thought to look. But all right. Thank you for indulging me in this morning cuddle session. <sighs> but I suppose it's time for us to get up. So, let's go make some breakfast.